Hi, my name is Mary Beth. I'm the co-founder of Materio. And today I'm going to walk you through how you can use Materio to get the thousands of project decisions out of your head and into a system that is made for design and construction. So I'm going to walk you through some of the framework of Materio and where things belong and how it can make your team so efficient by putting everything in one place. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the foundation of Materio. You'll see right here on my project that the foundation of my project is a floor plan. You can also use Use existing photos, you could use renderings, um, but this is a place for you to add visuals that are going to help communicate the project to your team and to your clients. This is great for keeping up with version control um, of floor plans, and also this is for placing the Google Drive or the Dropbox that you're using. It's allowing you to keep documents in one place where we're going to also then build our scope on top of it. So the next step in Materio uh, for keeping all of those decisions you know, out of your head and into a system is actually using our our uh, scope starter to get your project organized. This allows you to look at the plans while you're building out the projects that you're going to use. So for this, it's just actually a kitchen. So we're gonna say it's just the kitchen, we're gonna do a pantry, living room, and then there's a laundry room attached to this. You could also always come in and add custom locations right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline the types of work that are going to be on this project. I'm going to be offering design services, project management. Uh, for this, we're going to have demolition because it is a renovation. Um, and you'll see here that we just have a list of categories of work that help you get started. Because I selected plumbing and because we've said that we have a kitchen, Matero is going to offer up selections that are common in the kitchen as far as plumbing goes. Same for tile, um, you know, certain categories of work, we sort of establish baseline selections that are most likely going to be needed in these areas. So we go all the way through to soft goods and furniture. Again, this is just going to help you get started. Next is going to be how you determine how you make money on this project. Material is going to help you determine this upfront so that you can make sure you're making profit in the end. So again, another part of the decision process and the way that you run projects, we're gonna do it right here. For this, I'm gonna include a markup on all of my items. I can always customize this later. And then am I wholesale or retail? Um, I'm gonna do wholesale. And then I'm also gonna say, yes, I do collect tax. I'm gonna do my tax rate. So then I'm gonna create my outline and you'll see that almost immediately, I already have a great outline for the things that are gonna be in this project. Now. The way that you get decisions out of your head and you make sure that you are checking off all of the boxes when it comes to larger projects um, is you use a floor plan to create markers. So for this case, you'll see that I have a kitchen sink here. What I'm gonna do is click the quantity, I'm gonna do mark plans, and then I'm gonna put a marker right here. That is gonna quantify the item for me, and then I'm gonna put in my estimate. And here you'll see I can put in how much it's gonna cost if I'm putting a markup, if I'd like to include um, cost for shipping this item, and if I'm marking it up or uh, putting tax on shipping as well as labor and delivery. So this is gonna give me a great way to quickly estimate, hey, what is this kitchen sink gonna cost? Now I'm doing this up front so that from here on out, this becomes a living, breathing document for the decisions that need to be made on my project. So you'll see I have kitchen sink, and now I can come in and actually add a selection. The really cool thing about Materio is as you build out this estimate or proposal, uh, whether you have an estimator doing this, whether you're doing this as a design team, as a proposal for your clients, it's giving you a very clear picture of what's to come. And it's also building out this visual workspace for the product that needs to be sourced or the decisions that need to be made by clients. So now you'll see that I have a kitchen sink here with a shopping uh, price of $15.50 and I can go in and I can pull items from my library or I could pull in items uh, from the product clipper. So I'm gonna pull in two options. Now, the next thing about Material is collaboration, right? It's gonna help your team, your clients all know what's going on. You can invite uh, your external collaborators, whether that's subcontractors or vendors. You obviously wanna invite your client in to make decisions, and then you want your team here to be able to manage the projects. So rather than saying, hey, you know, I need you to go source this thing, they just come to Material and they see there's a really large checklist here of all the decisions that need to be made, all the products that need to be sourced. So Material helps you move those uh, steps along very quickly. You'll notice that when I did add in those options, I have something here that says send it to my client for approval. So first I'm gonna invite a client to my project 
and then I'm going to set their permissions. Material gives you a lot of flexibility around what your client can and can't see. You can show them just pricing by a lump sum or by category. And then you can also determine if they see things like attachments, if they see vendor information, uh, timelines, et cetera. And I'm going to send over that invite. And now I can share these selections uh, for my clients to make a decision on. So although there's going to be, you know, some conversations and design visioning here, this is going to help you get the documentation around your selections in a place where you don't have to do it multiple times. You're not having to put this into a spreadsheet. You're not having to collect information from an email or forward text messages. Um, this is all going to be documented for you when your client clicks that button. So I'm going to send this over by pressing send and selecting my client. And you'll notice that it's going to be moved from this open workspace over to awaiting approval. And this is how Material helps you know where product and decisions are in the pipeline. So I'm going to say that my client has approved this. I'm going to do it from the firm side for the sake of this demo. But then they're going to be moved over to confirmed. This is where you can manage uh, what's the status. Is it, has it been ordered? Is it been procured? What is the next step for this item? Now, if I hop over to purchase orders, you'll see that I actually have auto drafted purchase orders here. This means that anytime an item is approved uh, based on the vendor, it's going to present to me a purchase order. And here I'm going to go ahead and record an order that I already placed, meaning I went and I did this online, whether it's wholesale or retail. Let's say I, I recorded an order already placed and I can go ahead and say that I paid the total amount. Um, I can upload my receipt here. And then I can also auto schedule the dates for this on my timeline and update the status of my item to ordered. So I've moved that over to ordered. It's marked that it's been paid. And you can see now if I come to confirmed, the status has been updated to ordered. And if I go to my project timeline, you'll see that it's expected to ship on a certain date. And all of that is coming from that one action I took was just sending a purchase order. So now my team can be informed. Um, whoever's managing the tracking of items is informed automatically. It's all living in one place. So now that this is confirmed, I can also come in and manage things like, has it shipped? Is it received? I can enter in tracking information and select carriers. And this is just going to, again, help my team stay on track with when things are coming in, when they're going to be arriving, when I should be on the job site to get them installed. Um, all the coordination that comes around the hundreds of decisions, it's all going to be right here. A big component of collaboration with your clients and your team is being able to communicate in places that make sense. So Material, we have a few key places that you can communicate about the work that is being done. One of those is on the floor plan directly. So I can click comment, I can come in and I can ask a question. I can make this internal or external and I can say, it's over. This is, a, this is a circumstance in which I am trying to work on the floor plans with my team, and I want one of my team members to edit the floor plans and make changes. So I can do an internal conversation about that. Now, I could also come over to something like a rendering, and I could communicate with my client um, on this. This is going to give them the opportunity to come in and have a conversation with me uh, in a place that makes sense on top of the designs, on top of the floor plans, rather than in an email with, you know, 20 items to address. So this is a really handy tool for communicating directly about what needs to be uh, communicated. The other thing they can do is come in and you can communicate directly on an item. So when you first present the scope of work to a client or when your team is reviewing it, there may be questions that you have about uh, why did you do it this way? How did you break it down? This gives you the ability to have conversations directly on the items, um, and that can be really helpful. All of the, the information is here because all of your project decisions are here. Your numbers are here. Um, it's going to be a great tool for knowing your numbers. You can track your hours in Materio. You can bill for them. And then you can see where you're at with specific items. How much have I collected? Um, how much is outstanding? And where does my profit lie with that item? One of the really great things about um, Billing and material is that we make invoices incredibly defensible and super easy to send. So I'm going to walk you through how you can send an invoice in material and what that looks like on the finance side. Walking you through an invoice, I'm going to go to a really built out project. You'll see that this is a project that has almost a million dollars of estimated work on it. Uh, again, you'll just see on a more complex project how you can come in and see very specific decisions that have been made or are being made. Um, when it comes to invoicing, though, I'm going to hop over to the invoicing panel, and here I'm going to create items. Again, I can collect a retainer if I'm a design team and I want to do that up front. But the really cool thing about Material is I can come in and select project scope. Um, so if I wanted to bill for a percentage of a project, I could do that, and then I could select 
uh, a deposit. So let's say I only want to collect 35% of the deposit for the work on the project at the beginning. I can add that to an invoice and I can go ahead and send that over. So you'll see I easily have a deposit invoice drafted that is super clear for my clients. Now I can move this over to QuickBooks and collect payment via QuickBooks, or I can send it via Materio and um, manage all of the payments here. So all of this is going to sync over to QuickBooks if you have your QuickBooks online account connected. Um, so that's really handy for making sure that all of your finances are not only in your project management system, but being tracked over for your accountant. Now you'll also notice that as I start to accumulate expenses on this project, I have purchase orders, um, timesheets that are tracked by my team, and any other additional expenses that I've decided to add. This gives me the ability to, again, not have to enter the information in multiple systems. My team knows that it's going to be here. Uh, they track their time here. I bill for their time here. Purchase orders flow through the system. So everything is extremely connected. So let's say I want to uh, talk about how I can collaborate with a team. Let's say I want to export the electrical selections to give it to the electrician so that I can uh, communicate to them what is going to happen on this job site, what they should be looking for, the locations, etc. I'm going to click export and then print the selections. And then what it's going to do is give me a link just like this where I can see everything that is decided, the location, how many units, a photo of it. And that is going to be very clear for the team that is working on the project. So the other thing you can do to get this information out of the system and into the field or to the right people is to use our live links. So if you go to share on a project and do view only links, you can create a link that is specific to a scope of work category as well as a floor plan. And you can select multiple of these, but for this case, I'm going to do the electrical with the main floor finishes. And you'll see I'm generated a link that can uh, be shared with people um, whether that's a subcontractor or vendor, and this is going to allow them to see the scope of work that's related as well as any of the markers on the floor plans of the pages that you've shared. And this gives them the ability to uh, know exactly where information needs to be, where product needs to be installed, uh, what they need to quote. That's all going to be using the system and they don't have to log in to see it. Now, one of the last elements of collaboration amongst your team and for your own time management would be the tasking in Materio. So if you click on uh, your project dashboard, you'll see that you have open task right here. You can see everyone's task if you need to assign tasks to team members. And you can also uh, manage whether things are in progress or completed. I can schedule a new task for my team member. I can assign it to a specific project, and then it will notify me when it's done. If I want to click in and do more things like set due dates or uh, notify certain team members, I can do that. So this just helps manage the workflows of all of your team members. You can all keep up with what's going on on the projects, and you can have one open space for the things that need to be done. Material acts as sort of a big to-do list anyways, but this helps you take action specifically on things that are needed um, within the team. So these are just some of the ways that Material can help you take all of that information in your head related to the multiple projects that you're trying to do and get it into one system. It's going to help your team move faster and more efficiently because they're going to know exactly where to turn for uh, the next steps and for the details and decisions. If you have any feedback or questions or want to schedule a personal call with us, you can always reach out at hello at Material.co.